Hello and welcome back to Pyro 5610. Today we're gonna to be doing a bulletproof episode. So we're gonna test uh, the bulletproofness of a dictionary, a thesaurus dictionary, and then hay bales, because I've always wanted to know what a hay bale would stop. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be shooting at today, and then I'm gonna be going over what we're gonna be shooting at them. So we have two different books here we're gonna be using. Uh, Merriam-Webster's Dictionary and Thesaurus. It's, I mean, it's pretty thick. I'd say it's about two and a half inches. And then somehow they assume this is a pocket Oxford Dictionary. Um, also about the same distance. Today I also have Tyler, your friendly neighborhood tree, with me today. And what's your prediction on the bulletproof of the books? I think the pistol rounds are definitely going to get stopped by it. Uh, definitely not the... Uh uh, the AR rounds for sure. Uh, all right, so over here you will see we have hay bales and we also have apples to be shooting at, which will be coming apart in the next episode. But we have two hay bales here stacked one another and you know, they're not super thick, but they are really tightly packed and I don't even know how old these are. I'm really sorry for the wind. I didn't know it was gonna be so windy when I decided to come out today. But on the back, to, just to make sure we broke through it, what else do you find behind hay bales but aliens? Yes, we have an alien back there just to see if it may, breaks through because honestly, if something went through that, I wouldn't be able to tell. So, let's go over what we're gonna be shooting today. All right, starting with the smallest round, we obviously have a 22 long rifle there. Right next to it is the nine millimeter. Beside it is the 38 Special. So that's all we have. Oh, and of course the 45. All full metal jackets. And we're gonna test those first. Right next to it, going up in size, is a standard bird shot. I believe it's two or two and three quarter. Yep, two and three quarter regular bird shot. And then beside that we have a full metal jacket 300 and then the boat tail soft point 300. So my prediction is the books are at least going to stop, I would say maybe a 38, up to a 38. 45 does move slower, so I would I would say, I'm gonna go with Tyler on this one and say all the pistol rounds will stop. Uh, my last video I was wearing a tank top. Um, we went down south, my fiance and I, and I think we took all the warm with us because it was like 70 degrees down in Louisiana and we came back up, it's like 40. So I did, uh, I didn't lie to you per se, but the first round, the 22, all I have for a 22 is my AR here. So I'm gonna shoot that at the book first and we'll check. I have it leaned up against the pumpkin here. We'll just turn you real quick. There you can see it. And it's on that pumpkin right there. It's just leaned up against it. So we'll be able to see how that works up against the AR. Whoop, backed up. And we'll, you know what? Just because I told you we do pistols first, we're gonna start with a nine millimeter and Tyler has a new nine millimeter, which we'll be going over here. Uh, I picked up the CZ P10C last Thursday for, oh, how much? About 550, 550 bucks uh, used minimally. I think the guy before me only put maybe a hundred rounds through it. The people I bought it from, a real great store, local, ultra firearms. Uh, yeah, they said the guy before me only put like 100 rounds or so through it and then realized that he didn't really want the pistol. <laughs> he didn't really know what he wanted from the pistol, so I guess this wasn't it for him. And it has a 15 round mag right here. And Tyler was just telling me that it also accepts Glock 19. No, 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 oh yeah, holsters. Yeah, holsters. holsters, Glock 19 holsters, it'll fit into pretty pretty easily so this is what we're gonna be shooting at the dictionary Good. yep all right here's the CZ nine millimeter into the dictionary pumpkin behind it okay so he aimed off a little to the left you can see it right there not a bad shot. The problem was it didn't it didn't go through. It went out the side. But I'm going to call that a win just because it it didn't go the whole way through. It really didn't. So, uh 
38 is up next. Okay, next is the 38 Special Revolver. I've got six rounds, I'm hoping one of them will hit it. I did! I hit it! But I think it went through. Okay. So, <laughs> I came up here because I thought it stopped, but it clearly didn't. So, let me show you the dictionary here. So, here's the front. You can see it right above the end. Here's the back. You can see there's pumpkin juice in it. So I'm thinking, it was sitting like, like that? Yeah, it was sitting like that. So I'm thinking, oh, you know what? Maybe it didn't go through the pumpkin. Whoops, zoomed in, way too much. So I'm thinking, oh, maybe it didn't go in, go through because this might have stopped it. So I come around to the back. Yeah, pumpkin didn't survive. Or wait. Yeah, that's a clean trajectory. I was wondering if that was from the nine, but yeah, there's no entrance wound from the nine, and that was definitely from the 38. So I'm kind of disappointed, but I mean, I'm not giving up yet. We're gonna we're gonna try uh, the 45. And see how that does against it. And then we're going to try... I think I'm going to try the 22. I obviously know the 300 will make it through that. And I'm going to switch books here after the 45 to give the 22 a fair chance. Well, the dictionary a fair chance. Alright, this wind is... I don't know how this audio is going to turn out because in these headphones, all I can hear is wind the entire time. Right now, 45 out of the 1911. All right, so, uh, 45 versus the... 1911. It is a slower moving bullet, but I still don't think it's going to stop it. Oh! oh. <laughs> stop it. So, the reason I said holy cow is because it literally split this book in half. Wait! Oh my god, it didn't go through the pumpkin. This is from the 38, but it didn't go through. I think it went, it actually redirected it because there's the entrance wound. It redirected it down into the ground. So you have a standing chance if someone's carrying a 1911, you're about 10 feet away and you have a pocket dictionary in your pocket and it shoots you in the leg, you might have a chance because it might go lower and not hit an internal something. But um, yeah, so now we're going to try the 22. I'm going to get out the thesaurus because... This one's structurally damaged terribly. So we're gonna go to that one. Okay, we got ourselves a new target out there and that one has like a circle right in the middle. So now we're going to go into the 22 because we all know that the 22 is a little bit longer so it does have a much better chance of going through that. But it's a smaller bullet I'm after seeing what the 38 did to it, I don't really have much hope. So the last time we were out, I didn't shut off my red dot. So I don't have a red dot right now. I'm literally aiming through sights like that. That's what it looks like. Nothing, no red dot, nothing. So forgive me if I do miss. I just hit the gong like three times though. So from this distance, I shouldn't miss. Dead center. Woo! Dead center. That really echoed. All right. <laughs> We're gonna go check it now. See if it went through. All right. So I hit it dead center. Ooh, I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can feel it in there. There is the hole. And somewhere in these pages, it's definitely. Oh, it started to spin. There it is. There it is. Completely mangled. What page did it land on? There you have it, folks. Right on the word sizzle. If it'll. Where'd it go? Sizzle. A hissing sound as of something frying over a fire. Well, you just got sizzled. So now we're gonna try one more gun against that and then we're gonna move over to the hay bales. Okay. Okay. So 
We saw that it actually did stop at 22, which I was surprised by because it actually moves faster. However, I don't have as much faith in this one. I love that sound. Yeah, I don't think it stopped it. So the point here is, if someone breaks into your house with a 12 gauge shotgun, do not carry a pocket dictionary in your hand because, well, it just doesn't stop much. I mean, you can, yeah. There's a wad in there. Oh, the wad's still in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because that will be your chest. This cab, that, you know, you might be saved from the wad, but that's about all you're gonna be safe from. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to read this when I get home. All right, so now to the hay bale. It's right down there, you can see it. Um, I'm gonna move a little bit closer. First things first, we're gonna start with the shotgun round because I have a really good feeling that we're not gonna get any sort of penetration with the shotgun. Bye bye, alien. Oh, shit. Well, we might have gotten something. Okay, I don't know. I was so close that it, oh God, I can fit my whole hand in there. Um, that's the front of the hay bale, obviously. The back? Okay, alien. Well, son of a... Okay, so the alien is safe-ish. He did get a little impact. You can see how it dented there. And if you look, there's one, two, three BBs. So, he's safe. We'll call him safe. All right, so now we're gonna try and see if this will penetrate the hay bale. I don't think it will. I have my doubts, but if you can believe it, I have been wrong before. That didn't look promising. So I think I went through Right there. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh! Oh man! So if you're an alien, hope the farmer does not have slugs. And he's using bird shot because then you can hide behind the hay bale. Holy crap. All right. So we're gonna double stack them for the pistols. I take that back, I'm not quitting yet. So obviously a shotgun moves a lot faster with the slug than I thought. So I'm gonna leave it like it is. Yeah. We're gonna try it like it is anyway for the pistol rounds. And then um, if it if the first one penetrates, then I'm, I'm just gonna double stack them because it's not gonna be a great video if you already know what, what will go through and what won't. All right, so I have 65% chance that this is not going to go through because the 38 didn't made it through the dictionary. This didn't and that's a lot thicker than a dictionary, but it, I, I don't know. We're just going to shoot it. Okay, let's go see. Okay, so front looks okay. Oh, Jesus. Poor alien. <laughs> the poor alien, he stands no chance. Okay, so the fact of the matter is here, do not stand behind a hay bale. But, hold that. What happens if you stand behind two of them? That one got a little messed up from the shotgun. So now we have two, two of them. We're gonna see if the alien's safe against two hay bales. Okay, so this did not work out. I, I thought something would be stopped by the hay bale, but the hay bale was basically useless against everything. So we're gonna start with the nine millimeter now, and it's against 
two hay bales. That's why I brought two out here because I wasn't 100% sure. Um, but we're gonna try the CZ nine millimeter against two hay bales. All right, so Tyler's just gonna get down on one knee because the target's much lower now. And he's gonna try the nine millimeter versus the two hay bales. Just fire like, I don't know, two or three shots. Two or three? Yeah. Yeah, I totally saw dust flying up on the other side. Yeah, I'm, I know I saw you. I'm almost certain that's where it was coming out here. Yeah. Okay, so unfortunately this video is gonna get cut short because I didn't realize how weak hay bales were. But I have one more idea that might, might save the alien. So, if you're an alien and you're adept in the English language and you just happen to be carrying a dictionary with you, which is right in the center of the hay bale there. Whoop, right there. So the dictionary as we saw in earlier is not a great stopping tool. And obviously the hay bales suck as well. But if you put two sucks together, you should get something that doesn't suck as badly. All right, so we're gonna try light and we're gonna start with the 38. I don't know. I doubt it. Right in the center. Booyah! Alright, if you're an alien hiding on a farm and you get trapped behind the hay bale and you have your dictionary on you, which right there, right above the R, will it save you? Yes, it did! Because this was here earlier. This one was yeah. here from the other one. Those were from the 22s. So, yes, you're good, alien, if the farmer's holding a 38 special and you have your dictionary on you. So now, same dictionary, same setup. I have the 1911, though. I don't want to make a prediction because I'm probably wrong. Okay, if you are an alien with your dictionary, if you look, the first shot I took ended up right here, so I didn't want to count that because it, it basically went right through, but this one right here, where all the little pieces of dictionary are falling out. I'm, I think it did stop because that's from a 45 right there. Where's it at on here? That's from a 45. But I think it's hard to tell. He's so damaged. Let's move him up. But I, I think it, I don't know if it stopped or not. Stay there. So I, I want to give it the benefit of the doubt and say that it did stop it. Because I'm almost positive that that, or the, wherever it was. Yeah, I think, I I, I want to say it stopped it. Because I want to believe. So, I'm going to use a soft tail, which might actually give it a little bit better, or soft tip, because I have a feeling it's going to give it a little better chance, but I don't think we're going to have a dictionary after this one. This is the 300. That was a hit. Yep. Yeah, it's shooting straight on, just not where I'm aiming. I don't have much hope. So, after I figured out where I was aiming, there's two shots right there. And I have a really bad feeling. Yeah, he didn't fare too well. That hole's definitely much bigger. So, we know the 300 won't. We all, we, I mean, we knew, we knew the 300 wouldn't because I wasn't sure on the 45, but we knew it wouldn't stop the 300 because it's just way faster and it's a bigger bullet. Anyway, thank you for watching today's episode. Ivan Pyro, have a wonderful day.